Hi everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today for another one of my little uh, weekend talks. Um, great day here in South Alabama. Uh, it's just going to be a nice quiet weekend. I got some stuff to get done and I thought it was time to do the video for the day. Um, today I want to talk about living without accumulating true minimalism. Um, I do videos every day, so if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button now. Then click on that little bell and check send notifications so you'll stay subscribed to the channel. And even if you've been subscribed for some time, you might want to check that because um, YouTube is unsubscribing people to a lot of different channels. Yeah, I thought today I was, uh, once again, the, the reading is going to come from this book I have by Dr. Wayne Dyer, and it's uh, Living the Wisdom of the Tao, Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Life. I've done a couple of readings from this one before, and I was skipping around. I'm not reading these in any particular order. I'm not starting from the beginning, going to the end. And I was reading uh, through there a little bit, kind of looking for a topic for today. Today was one of those days I didn't have a topic already in my head. And I like to do that. Every once in a while on these weekend talks, I'll just go through some of my books that I have or I'll see something and all of a sudden I'm like, yeah, that's what I want to talk about today. Now, you know, tr minimalism, I love it. And I kind of get a little snarky sometimes. So don't take me too seriously. It's a trending topic these days and it's most, it's cute. It's kind of cute. It's like my, <laughs> a lot of times it's just people with a lot of stuff, like a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff going from a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff to a lot, a lot of stuff. <laughs> but it kind of makes people feel good and they're moving in a direction. So it's all good. But what I want to talk about today is what I consider like true minimalism, like really living the spirit of minimalism, really understanding about accumulating stuff and how the stuff that we accumulate tends to own us, you know, or tends to shape our lives too much. So let's go ahead and uh, do this reading. And uh, incidentally, this is uh, the very last end of the book here. Like I say, I jump around. It doesn't have to be read in any particular order. And I've, I've, read, I've had a copy of the Tao for years, so I've read all these verses a number of times. First, let's start with the verse. Let's start with the 81st verse, the last verse of the Tao. Two, true words are not beautiful. Beautiful words are not true. Good men do not argue. Those who argue are not good. Those who have virtue do not look for faults. Those who look for faults have no virtue. Okay, here's the part that's really relevant to this last reading. Sages do not accumulate anything, but give everything to others. Having more, the more they give. Heaven does good to all, doing no evil to anyone. The sage imitates it acting for the good of all and opposing himself to no one. Okay, most of all, my, he's focusing in on that little part sandwiched in there. Sages do not accumulate anything, but give everything to others. Having more, the more they give. And the last little section is called Living Without Accumulating. This final verse of the Tao Te Ching provides the closing message of this entire collection of ideas. You came from nothingness. And he's got that one broken down. No dash thing dash ness. No thing ness. The place of your origin had no things. The place of your return is one of no things. Therefore, Lao Tzu is inviting you to replace the accumulation of more stuff with the celebration of your true essence. Just as nothing is pure Tao in its formlessness, the real you is that same formlessness, for you are the Tao. The Tao Te Ching attempts to attract you to a way of being that recognizes nothingness as the Tao. You could call it a God-realized way of being. In this final essay, I've chosen to propose that you, that you access your non-being. Tao self by living without accumulating. This means giving more, arguing less, and releasing your attachment to everything in the world of the 10,000 things. I like that one. This means giving more, arguing less, and releasing your attachment to everything in the world of the 10,000 things. Ultimately, living this way even means letting go of your attachment to your life and your body. But you can practice this right now while you're still living in the world. St. John of the Cross speaks to this way of seeing your life. To reach satisfaction in all, desire its, desire its possession in nothing, to come to possess all, Desire the possession of nothing. To arrive at being all, desire to be nothing. 
to come to the knowledge of all, desire the knowledge of nothing. All of this wisdom of nothingness comes out of the offerings of Lao Tzu, the ancient spiritual sage who wants us to experience the bliss of being all by knowing a non-accumulating place of not nothingness. It is difficult to imagine a world without things, yet in this final verse of the Tao Te Ching, Lao Tzu takes you through what such a world would look like. You don't need beautiful words since there is a nothing, since there is nothing, no thing for you to describe. There is no thing to argue about as there are no possessions to fight over. There's no fault finding or blaming for all that exists is the hidden virtue of the Tao. And finally, there is no thing to collect, amass, or accumulate, which leaves you in a state of creative giving and supporting. Heaven, good, heaven does good, says Lao Tzu, and good is a synonym for God, which is truly the same as the Tao. Meister Eckhart illustrates the interchangeability of the words God and Tao in this place. God is a being beyond being and a nothingness beyond being. God is nothing, no thing. God is nothingness, and yet God is something. You're encouraged in this final verse of the enduring and amazing Tao Te Ching to do all that you can to imitate heaven while you're here in form. Try out these suggestions from Lao Tzu as you change your thoughts and ultimately your life forever. Quit accumulating points for being right. Let go of your pro propensity for argument and replace it with the willingness to allow anyone with whom you have a disagreement to be right. End your quarreling ways by simply telling the other person something like this. You're right about that, and I appreciate hearing your point of view. This ends the argument and eliminates blame and fault finding at the same time. Change ego's need to be right by using the Tao based statement. You're right about that. It will make your life so much more peaceful. Reduce yourself down to zero or no thingness. Observe your body and all of your belongings, and then put them into the changing world context. Keep this statement from Mahatma Gandhi in mind. If you would swim on the bosom of the ocean of truth, you must reduce yourself to zero. So from a place of nothingness or zero, become the observer, seeing what you accumulate in the world of things. From this perspective, you'll find that nothing can ever truly be real in such a world. Practice this exercise whenever you're feeling attached to your possessions or, point of, or your point of view. D. H. Lawrence dramatically captures this idea. Are you willing to be sponged out, erased, canceled, made nothing? Are you willing to be made nothing, dipped into oblivion? If not, you will never really change. Now glance again at the title of this book, Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Life, Living the Wisdom of the Tao. Be willing to change. Do the Tao now. I'll leave you with these words of Lao Tzu from, from the Tao Te Ching, a new translate, translation, which were translated by Sam Hamill. Here's the final verse. The sage does not hoard and thereby bestows. The more he lives for others, the greater his life. The more he gives to others, the greater his abundance. Copy these words by hand, study them, and put them into practice at least once a day. You will energize the flow of the Tao in your life in this world of uh, 10,000 things. Namaste, Dr. Wayne W. Dyer. This is some good stuff right here. This is some good stuff. This is stuff, uh, you know, and it's expressed through different thoughts, different traditions, whether you call it religion, philosophy, or whatever. I like to read, um, a lot of times in the morning when I wake up, I read the prayer of St. Francis of Assisi. And it's in, there's a, one particular verse in there. It is in giving that we receive. So through this, uh, we actually can accumulate. We accumulate, it's, it's kind of a mind screw. It can go round and round, but um, it's not in accumulating these things. And um, that's the true, when we become, when we're not attached, it's not about, it's not about just kind of cleaning out a couple of dresser drawers, not in my opinion anyway. And like I say, this is always just my stuff. It's not about just kind of cleaning out a couple of dresser drawers, getting rid of clutter, this and that. If you're really looking for the spirit of minimalism, it's about some, it's about a thought process. It's about changing your way of thinking and it's about changing, um, 
this attachment that we have, this attachment that we have to possessions, things, and this attachment, I like what he was talking about, this attachment to ideas, this attachment to being right, this attachment to our knowledge and, and needing to lord that over people all the time and let them know, no, you're wrong and I'm right. That's ego. So anyhow, just another one of our little uh, weekend chats here together. Um, I, and like I say, even though that's the last one in the book, there, there's a lot of it I haven't read. So I hope to share some more from that book, um, you know, as I do continue to do these. Um, anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this one today. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys again tomorrow. Have a great weekend and love you. Peace.